it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project, house project, yard project. So last year, after my house was put in, the entire front yard was dirt. They had to bring in a bulldozer and completely gut everything to install the house. So as you can see, over the last, last summer and now this summer, I've done quite a bit of work putting in new flower beds, putting in a pea gravel path, and seeding this lawn from what was dirt to grass. And after last year, we seeded it probably in July, which is not the best time to seed a grass. And it has filled in really well, but it is not perfect, especially over here. The half I seeded over there is much better. So. Now that it is spring, it is early May, I really should have done this last month, but you know, it's put on my to-do list. I've got a lot to do. Um, we're gonna go ahead, I've still got some seed left, and I'm gonna fill up my little spreader. We are going to reseed this baby, and we are going to see if we can't get a little more grass growing. So I've got my sprinklers out here. Once you put grass seed down, you have to keep it wet to germinate, and then to grow and so typically when it's growing if it's a hot day like today i will come out and water it at least twice a day if it's not a super hot day maybe once a day but at least once a day for about 10 to 15 minutes every day until it starts germinating and that i believe is about a 10 day period that you want to keep it really wet so like if you get a lot of rain good but too much rain and it's going to wash away so I did put down, um, you can see where all the like bright turquoise green is, kind of a seed mat. It's seedless, but it was just a mat that was much less expensive to help hold the seed in place on a hill. And it worked great because before I put that down, no seed sprouted. And now I've definitely got seed every eight to 10 inches. So we're gonna go ahead, reseed this baby. My yard guy has moved my sprinklers around because he's been mowing this since last year. I'm gonna put the sprinklers back in the right spots and tell him, don't mow this for at least a month. We'll see if we can't get some grass. Make sure no yucky bugs have made a home in here. I mean, it's been sealed, but. All right. So that's how much seed we have left. My little seed spreader, it goes from zero to 15. I think we're gonna set it at about eight because we're not doing a full, you know, last year we did a full like 15 setting. The, the more open that opening is, the more seed you're spreading. So I think we're gonna do like an eight or nine and we're gonna see how far this goes. I'm guessing I'll need another bag. Now you just hold this. There you go. Start to move it around. important part is keeping it wet for a good 10-ish days and then keeping it watered while the grass grows. So when it's really hot, I'll come out here and I'll water it twice a day. Um, you have to keep that seed wet to germinate. If it dries out, it's not going to germinate. You just wasted all your time and money watering the lawn for no reason. So I'm going to reset my sprinklers. My yard guy has moved them um, since I haven't been doing the grass out here and we will start to water. One last tip, my yard 
is part sun, part shade. So instead of just going down to the store and picking up a bag of grass seed, I stopped by my local nursery and I talked to them about what the best type of grass seed for my area is. I was recommended to go centipede because it's part sun, part shade mixture that's really native to my area here in zone 8B. We're in southern Alabama. Um, and it's worked pretty well so far, but hoping, you know, starting earlier in the season, it's not as hot as mid-July when I did this last year. It's a much better time for grass. We're going to see if we can't get the rest of this lawn to fill in. So, I have two sets of sprinklers um, because if I put all six together, six hoses, six sprinklers, there's just not enough um, water pressure to go all the way through. So, Okay, so troubleshooting, you can see that first sprinkler looks great, second one's okay, third one's not going. So I think I need a little more water pressure to get all the way, there we go, to the end of that line. Now, more water pressure means things down here are going to start getting hit. So I'm gonna have to go out here and adjust those sprinklers so they're not hitting the fronts of my garden beds quite so heavily so I'm just gonna get wet because I got to do it while the water's on Anyways, 
Now, this sprinkler appears to be broken. You see that leak right there? So I think I need to order another one for this guy. We might just take that last one off over there and replace it with this one because I don't know that we need all six going right now. That is a pretty good sized leak. And obviously we don't want this one part of the, the grass to be flooded while everything else misses out. But the rest of that looks pretty good. Now down here, there we go. This grass is much more full. So we do need to grow some in here and we need to grow a little down here. So we'll see, we might just take maybe this one out. We could probably put this one a little more central located, pull that one over a little bit and make do with five instead of six. But we gotta, we gotta turn these on first and make sure we have no leaks over here. Cause that's a big leak. It's my fault, I should not have left these out all winter. I literally just left them in the yard. Don't do that. All right, so to switch it, you just turn it off right here at the nozzle. And then pop these over. Now that one will drain. So I typically like to take it and put it on one of my roses or a tree or something that can handle quite a bit of water instead of just leaving it on the grass. One more thing is as the grass starts to grow, you want to try not to walk on it until it's grown quite a bit. Baby grass is delicate. Let's try these. Okay. Okay, so this one's working fine. This one's working fine. This one's working fine. And this one is hitting quite quite far over. You can see it's hitting all of this path. So I think if we move this one to about here, this one to about here, and then replace that one and pull it down to here, We'll go down to five and I think that will hit everything we need. We're not doing quite as big an area this summer since last summer it filled in and that will get this close one off of my sweet peas as well. So I'm gonna let this run for another 10-ish minutes and then once everything's dried a bit, um, I'll go out there and switch those two. But this is, this is it. I'm sorry you guys missed the actual spreading of the grass seed, but we can get all of this to fill in with pretty grass. I'll be pretty happy. I forgot when I ran out there to get those moved and I wasn't worried about getting wet. I forgot I was actually wearing makeup today. So I hope you guys liked this video. I will be back in later videos to give you an update of how the grass is filling in. Bye.